quick, before we get started, man, I don't know if a lot of y'all know about this, man, but every single Friday, we give away $50 or $50 worth of VC or a copy of 2K if you don't have it, man. All you gotta do to be entered in that is to like the video and comment down below. That is absolutely it. You ain't gotta do nothing else. Also, if every video this month averages, if our average views per video this month is 10K views, we will be giving away either a PS5 or an Xbox. Whatever next gen console the person who wins wants. Again, in order to get involved in that, all you gotta do is like the video and comment down below something or whatever. It might have a secret word, we might not have a secret word, but that's all you gotta do. Y'all been helping me out. Love you guys, need you guys to keep supporting so we can get growing and get closer to that oh so coveted 100K, man, because we've been grinding for a long time and we just not there yet. So I'm just trying to give you guys a little bit of incentive. And uh, without further ado, let's just get right into the video. Good morning out there in 2K land, man. Check it out, bro. Look, this is a, this is unfortunate right here. IQ Contain tweeted out today, man. He says, another person faked their death in the 2K community. The man had his girlfriend record a video lying and then, I mean, and all trying to seem sad. Grow up and seriously find some help. Bro, you ain't gonna lie about that, bro. All this stuff, this stuff is not funny, man. Look, I seen somebody, somebody make a video about um about the most infamous person in the 80s and, and it was just crazy man and then made the bill and and, and the lad and, and i knew somebody was gonna do it like they dropping dimes and called him dimer i was like yo the community need help man i ain't gonna lie about that bro like it, it's just it's simply insane at the, the list that people gonna go in order to get views like giving away ps4s and, and 50 dollars gift cards at the end of it but that ain't the point that's not the point the point is it's crazy. It's it's sick. It's it's just disgusting, and, and I can't rock with it, man. It's, it is what it is. Anyway, up next we got the boy Stacks, and he says y'all cry for a balance builder just to end up making the same exact build as everyone else. And then, um, with that being the case, that boy Steezo came and he just said, "Hear me out." But if everybody is on the same build, wouldn't that mean? The only differing factor that separates uh, that separates them is who wins and loses is the individual skill, thus creating the skill gap, which apparently doesn't exist. And the badgy puggy says, "Bullseye, I got a counter to that. If uh, if if a skill gap is in the game, and just just hear me out now, if there is a skill gap in the game, because I do agree that there's a skill gap, and dribbling is a skill, and you lose the ball disproportionate to other people, then." Is that not a skill and perhaps you just lack that skill? I'm just asking. All I'm saying is if you if there's if 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 there's people that's not getting ripped and you're constantly getting ripped, then is that does that mean that you just don't have the skill that that person got or whatever? I I, I don't know, man. It is what it is. I'm, not, I'm just asking a question, man. That's all I'm doing is asking the question. Speaking of steals, hey, don't shoot the messenger, baby. Uh, the boy at Cash Nasty says if they pass steals and then pass six nine demigod bills. Dot dot dot. Now y'all might be wondering why he said that, man. That was a rumor out there uh, going on, and the boy Luck DF he just and he just drops it right here. Rumor saying six nine bills are passing NBA two. 2K23, somebody confirmed. And obviously, you know the boy A. Cardi. I think he the one that started the innovator, the innovator of violence in this situation. He was like, uh, nah, NBA 2K really pa just passed the 6'9 bills and buff 6'2s and lower. My 6'1 is moving like the Flash, and my 6'9 is moving like Franklin the Turtle. And I'm tr and I'm tired after one move. Everybody was in some type of uproar about it, and the grinder was like, bro, please. Tell these people, he just says, on my own way right now uh, to get my, I mean, he says, on the game right now, my 6 9 feels the exact same, fam. Make the, uh, make the bill you want, I mean, you was, hold up, make the bill you was trying to make and have fun. It's just a rumor started because of an update. Misinformation. I mean, that's what what's the name it says. Mis <laughs> misinformation. And then last but not least, like I said, it went all the way around and said, 6 9s are nerfed. Good thing I made a 6-8, bro. This, this, I don't know who started this malicious rumor, but like I said, Grinding came back and he just straight up dispelled it and said, my 6 9 feels the exact same as it did yesterday. If there's a change, if there was a change, it's basically non-existent, but I highly doubt there was one. Stop listening to Twitter. 
uh, Twitter user 2K God Buckets uh, and use Baluba as your source for gameplay changes. You'll be a lot less stressed. Now, I ain't gonna lie, man. That might be the best thing for y'all to do, bro. Because, like I said, this thing was so crazy yesterday. The it was just running rampant through the community. Everybody was like, "Yo, did they change it? Did they not change it? Did something change? I don't know." And we were just like, "Bro, I mean, nothing changed." Brute was out there on his six nine, and he was doing the exact same thing, which either means that that they didn't change six nines or Brutus M is the goddamn greatest. Now, I will never say that Brutus is the greatest. So we just gonna go with they didn't change six nines because I mean, it is what it is. I mean, pretty much from what I saw, everything is the same, nothing changed. But it's just crazy how one little rumor can get the whole community just, it, it just sets the community on fire and everybody just be scared and all that good stuff, man. Instead of going, testing the game, playing it for yourself, seeing what's going on. It's just like when they're talking about six nines and six ones is the same speed, bro. Did y'all see me in that video the other day trying to stay in front of Roaster? He's 6'3". And then 6'9s, you're going to see these guys out here, they 6'9s. These dudes can't really get around me like that. But Roaster on his 6'1", I couldn't, I mean 6'3", I couldn't stay in front of him. So there's a significant speed difference or what have you. Now, if you're talking about your ability to react to what they're doing and possibly with rough stats and maybe whatever, whatever. Bro, it don't matter if you're fast if you're not quick. If you're not quick enough to get around me, it wouldn't matter how fast you are. So it is what it is. Like I said, I don't know. I don't know how true that is. I and it could be true. But if they adjust the speed table, then and you don't make the player that you wanted to make, eh, you know it's gonna be so. Look how fast this dude is compared to the other six nine. I don't think he's six nine. I think this dude right here was like six three or something like that. I'm not gonna roll the video back, but he appears to be shorter than I am, and you can tell that that guy is significantly slower than Brute, but hey, it is what it is. You test the game in a vacuum, you probably get different results. That's what Mike said. I ain't say it. Mike said it, he just bad. Well, I said it, been saying it for years. Mike just backed me up this year. Uh, up next, uh, uh, Mike, uh, Cash Nasty, he says, Hall of Fame workhorse or Hall of Fame challenger badge and why? And I just said, look, man, I go I go with Hall of Fame challenger and I showed y'all in the other day when you are in that defensive bubble, if you got challenger on, you can get challenge, you can challenge shots from, from just being in there and he's gonna challenge it. Um, as, as far as workhorse, I'm using Hall of Fame workhorse also, but if I only had one to choose from, I would choose challenger just because with these little guys running around or when they start running around, it'll just be nice to be able to contest people from, from further away and I'll be able to do stuff like that, man. Up next, we got Rena B Gaming says, playing in the wreck with no squad made me realize how many people lack defense. Defense, offense, brains, all of that stuff, bro. They lack it all in there when you're playing a, a game when you're not playing uh, with your squad or whatever. You go in there and play by yourself, you just be like, bro, these people got on here just to press swear or press X. Like, they just want to try to get that 100,000 by any means necessary, and it, it really just doesn't matter. It don't make sense. I understand why people be like, bro, I ain't got nobody to play with. I hate the game. Because when you don't have anybody to play with, you probably are going to hate the game. Y'all let me know down in the comments. But hey, you don't have to not have anybody to play with. Join the Discord. Link down in the description. We got rooms in there where you can find somebody to play play with. They got what bills they got. They got all this stuff, man. So make sure y'all join that. We're going to be vamping that up. And we're going to be doing Discord giveaways and all that stuff later too. So make sure y'all do that. And then sometimes when I'm streaming and I need people, I'm going to hit people up in there. We're going to be sitting in there. We're going to do stuff, movie nights, all that. Chop it up. That's pretty much everything, man. Y'all do your thing. Uh, up next, we got the boy Laker fan. He says, hey, so is time and impact on your shot actually uh, pretty important or uh, for making threes? Or is it the grade just some BS? I'm gonna tell y'all what time and impact is, man. It's like um, with all shooting things, it's only important if you're not good at timing your shot. Cause I got some people that can use Lamelo ball. I can't use it. I can't use it. I don't know if it's a time and impact. I don't think it's a time and impact. I think Gambit is using Lamelo ball. I think on this one, but I just can't use time and impact. I mean Lamelo ball because he jumps so high and it's like his hands go in a different place. And I'm using James Harden. Um. I would say at the beginning of the game, time and impact probably probably made a big difference. But right now, with everybody being able to time that jump shot, I don't think it makes a big, the, the biggest of deals. But uh, that's all we got for y'all for news today. Up next, y'all know what we got. Community clips. Here we go. Hold on. Who this is with their first community clip, man? Hey, this is AJ, AJ Biles going in. Look, look, I'll take you fast in slow motion. I guess that's not supposed to be a real. Let me talk. Let's talk about this right here. Because a lot of people be thinking, bro, you're dribbling into two people there's no space here 
and then you get ripped. Like, I, I don't know, but that's not what, it, what the thing is about. He's talking about him taking flight right on his head. Boy, put that thing on his head time. Head time, get it, get it. All right, up next, we got the most dis disrespectful green animation in the game. What is this? That's the two-time, baby! The two-time! Y'all already know Dr. This is Dr. Disrespect with the two-time, baby. Y'all already know what that is, man. That's, I love that one right there. I need to put it on. I just need to put my green animations on. Hey, uh, up next, we got, hey, you said, look, this rim running is not a problem. He's saying rim running ain't a problem, man. Let's see what we got, man. All right, okay. Okay, he's gonna try to rim run. Give me that! Give me that, boy. Hit that boy with that young, he hit that boy right there with that young Chris Breezy. Give me that. I'm gonna tell y'all something about interior defense, man. The main thing about interior defense is positioning. Two things he did on this one right here, and I might do a breakdown on this. Look, two things that he did on this, bro. You can't be here and jump and think you're gonna block the shot. Y'all see what he did? He moved toward the individual, met him before the block, look, and then he got up before, and he, and he got up before he did. Look, he's already in position before he jumps. Look, this is where he's meeting him. He's off the ground before he is. Now, if you're doing anything different, you're probably hating the game. You're thinking uh, interior defense is trash, but you know it is what it is. Up next, pull up, yop. Hey, that is Jay Jonah Yopperson. Pretty much it was Quavo Quavo saying, hey man, he out here moving crazy a little bit on the J. Cole challenge, man. Listen, man, you telling me that that little dude right there that he's playing with, is the same speed as a 6'9", you're insane, or you never stood in front of one because you can't stand in front of those little guys. That is what I think, man. Uh, like I said, in a vacuum, possibly, but you know it is what it is. Lee Lee! All right, let's see what you got, Lee Lee. Go, go kick it out. I think this is a, a defensive joint right here. Yeah, hers was a defensive play. It was, uh, yeah, here we go. All right, trying to back him down. Let's see what you get. Pump fake, one jump. Pogo stick, let me get that. Boy, that's gold tending right there. That is gold tin. Hold on, does this does this call for a Kevin Garnett? I think I think this calls for I think this calls for Kevin Garnett. Kevin, what you got to say about it, Kevin? Tell him what you tell him what you got to say about it. I said. Shit out here, nigga. Yeah, that's what Kevin Garnett got to say about it. And last but not least, we've got this Apex leg, bro. This this is probably the funniest video ever, bro. Hold on, hold on a second, hold on. We got we got to play this one. Now. Not even gonna lie, bro. Don't even pick Actually, me up. What do you mean? I need a weapon. You don't hear the yeah, boys we... over there in the next building clapping? I promise you, bro, I ain't gonna do nothing for you. I'm not leaving this room without a gun, bro. All right, man, chill. Hey, you see my cousin <laughs> over there? Hey, yo, Riri. What's up, man? Hey, you feel like busting? Yeah, pick me up. I go brrr, empty. All right, so I'm here to clean them up after you do that big boy damage. You feel me? Yeah, hey, yo, Al. What up? How you feeling, bro? You know, on and off like usual. Nah, he gonna let you down, bro. I promise. <laughs> I'm gonna let him down, but I don't even know where to put your heavy light ass. They choke, definitely choke, don't. Choke, choke. But stay over there. But if he needs some range, then what? Well, I would definitely like to oh, say I that. Well, I'm over here if you can handle it. Oh, that's the goat right there. You hit yeah. them shots, then tag me in. It's back to the lobby for your ops on God. All right, so that's I'm gonna go 9 and RE45. Yeah, so uh, look, let's get out of here before, um... Hey, 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 you know who it is, the GOAT, baby. Yeah, yeah, you know who it is, that R301 with the two-timer. Let's go. <laughs> hey, 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 anyway, man, you, that's, that's just a little joint if y'all watch Apex Legends. If you don't, man, it is what it is. Anyway, Bridget, what is the word for the day? Busting is the word for the day, so down in the comment section, if you put busting down in the comment section at the end of your comment, you're already you all you already in it, no matter what you comment. But if you don't know what to comment, just put busting down there. Now you're gonna be entered not only for a fifty dollar gift card at the end of this week, but also you will be entered to get a um enter for the for the next gen console giveaway if we reach the requirements, which for all we wanna do is average ten K views. That's it. Anyway, I'm out of y'all next time, man. Let me know if I'm doing a little too damn much on that, man. Or should, or if y'all happen that I'm doing something like that, giving back to the community. I don't know. It is what it is. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. I'm out of y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Champ.